Who would have thought Eric's Sea was right on top of Ricky's village? Dive deep enough, you can reach their tree. Perhaps you should try. Might do. Haven't decided yet. Is something wrong? Aren't you curious? About why we're going to Prison Island, I mean. It is not common for Homs to visit this region. You may have good reason, but forgive me. I do not pry into other people's business. It's definitely bugging her, Shulk. How, how dare you, you clown! It's okay, Melia. We're not strangers anymore. Well, I... <sighs> you're right. So then you'll listen to our story? Yes. Tell me why you are here. Basically, it all started when... I see. I had heard about the mech on assault on the lower regions, but did not know the situation was so grave. How lucky we are. Hey, what's that? Is that? You are looking at Prison Island. So that's Prison Island? Yes. And that is the Imperial capital, Alchemoth. It's not just me, right? A floating city is a bit weird. Built with superior defenses in mind. Incredible. What technology makes this possible? I do not know. And I've never had the need to. You... don't know? It doesn't freak you out? You can eat bread without knowing how to bake it. Makes sense to me. You will need Imperial Sanction to enter Prison Island. Okay. We will travel to the capital first. And how do you expect us to get up there? Fly? There is a transporter up ahead. We can use that. We've been deep sea diving. Now we're gonna fly. This place gives me the creeps. But I guess we don't have a choice. Right. Onwards to the capital. Still. What is it, Dunban? It's a sight to behold. Those look like anti mech on defense systems. And here we are at RFC. Excuse me a sec, I know we changed the party to this towards the end of the last episode, but I'm thinking I'm going to do this party, actually. Might as well use Ricky for a bit. So yes, hello YouTube, it's the Pemicles of Freedom. back to Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, episode 24, last episode. We had a rough return to the series <laughs> against the Telethia. And in this episode, we're heading over towards to the Imperial City. We're gonna grab some items along the way and ignore all the enemies, essentially. As for this episode, might be a little bit more on the short side compared to the others, because... One, I do feel like I need to practice, because there are some very difficult fights coming up, and I mean pretty damn difficult fights. Even when I've played the game, like, from one playthrough straight into the next, these fights normally always give me trouble, up to the point that it takes me multiple attempts to even win, when I'm fully prepared and... <laughs> remember my experience on how to actually fight effectively in this game. And I'm very rusty right now. So this episode might be about 20 odd minutes. Whee! Teleporters! But I think we're gonna be alright. A shorter episode every once in a while ain't gonna kill us. After all, uh, this is a very big game and I don't want to make every single episode very long. Because I know not everybody likes really long episodes, so really long episodes might 
uh, deter people if that's all they ever really pump out on this series. So I will do my best to try to make sure the longest episodes are at the very least between 30 to 40 minutes. And those are going to be the long ones. As in like up to like, uh, for mainly like stories. Side quest episodes, I will do my best to get them cut down, but I do a lot of cuts and speed ups during side quest episodes. So those shouldn't be that big of a deal. Sea berries. Wow. Oh yeah, that's one thing as well. The Collectopedia. That's one thing we need to go back and do. We need to finish up the areas. I never did explain here, but the other Collectopedia, these things can only be traded for. Only through specific M NPCs at sometimes specific times later in the game. So we'll get to those when we do. But it looks like we still have to finish up Tefer Cave. My honest leg. The Ether Mine is, is complete. Oh, hello. Why haven't I put these in yet? Ryan Pike. Okay, anything else? We still need to fin get f uh, five more items over here. Can't collect anything there. A lot to get here back in Magna Forest. And I'm only missing one more item at Frontier Village. We will be going back at some point to do that. But we did gain something that I want to put on Ryan. Yeah, we got a topple up gem. I'm going to put that topple up gen here. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, this one. Where is it? Or am I an idiot? Oh, was it a topple resist? Is that what we got? Was that not a topple up? Or am I just as blind as a bat? Okay, I'll probably have cut that out. Yeah, I was an idiot. It was topple resist that we got. I thought I got a topple up gem. <laughs> That would have been useful to have, because it topple up gems make it so that when you topple an enemy, the one who topples them having it so there's we only have two characters capable of topple, and that's Ryan and Dunban. So yeah, it'll make it last longer. Either way, we're heading into a cutscene. Who are these guys? Are those wings on their head? They must be high end here. Welcome home, Lady Melia. Lady? Huh? Thank you, Captain. These Homs and this Nopon are my guests. See them safely to the guest quarters. Give them anything they need. As you wish. What's going on? I have no idea. Melia, are you...? Melia. I cannot speak now, but I shall fulfill my promise. I understand. I will arrange for an audience with the Emperor. Will you wait? We won't move an inch. Trust me. My thanks. Lady Melia, he says. Shulk, you thinking the same as me? Whatever her position is here, Melia won't let us down. 
I'm sure you're right. <gasps> More of these guys. Must report the Telethia's defeat to His Majesty and request entry to Prison Island. Shulk is depending on me. I must hurry to the audience chamber. And here we control Melia alone. We are here at the main entrance. Of the, the of the new area, which should be coming up now. You say the second consort's child survived her ordeal? Forgive me, first consort. I, Tyrea, vow to see your orders fulfilled. Whilst she's in the capital. Do not underestimate the lengths to which His Majesty and the child's loathsome goons will go. How, pray tell, will you avoid the guards? I will do whatever it takes. Oh, your stupidity bores me. Your Highness, Enough I... of your drivel! We will have our chance when she stakes her claim to the throne. We are now at the Imperial Capital, Alchemoth. And the home to many, many, many side quests. We're going to be spending a lot of time here a little later on. We got a fair bit of story content we got to take care of first before that comes along. But there are a lot. Now, you'll notice when you go into the map, everything is red. We are unable to fast travel as of right now, so don't even bother trying. Let's just work our way forward because... Honestly, we're just doing story content, as I've said, for the next, like, maybe two or three episodes. Then after that, it's a butt-ton of episodes of side quests. And these side quests that we're get, we'll get to at that point, I really recommend you do them as soon as you are able to. <laughs> You'll see why later. Now, let's just work our way up. A lot of landmarks, but I'd rather not... Get all of them with Melia alone because with everybody no longer in the party they're not gonna be gaining any of the landmark XP so but we're still getting a fair few anyway let's go and our destination is right up ahead I'll see you guys in a bit Melia Antiqua, First Princess, has returned, Your Majesty. Raise your head. Your Majesty. The Telethia rained havoc on countless veteran knights. You triumphed where they could not. <laughs> I find it difficult to suppress these feelings of pride for you, my kin. But your Majesty, I failed to return with any of the subjects you entrusted to me. My inexperience cost them their lives. We will grieve for them, but it could not have been avoided. It was their duty and honor to fight beside you. They were all aware of your limits. Emperor! Keep those feelings of frustration close to you. It will help you to remember the debt you owe to those that have fallen. Your Majesty, concerning such debts, there were others who aided me. The Homs and Nopon that accompanied you to the capital, they have been arrested by Imperial security. Shulk and his companions? Yes, for reasons pertaining to the weapon this Shulk possesses. Shulk's weapon? Do you mean the Monado? 
So it is true. If that weapon is truly the Monado, we shall be forced to take action. Why? There is a legend, passed down through the generations, of a divine weapon, the Monado. It is said that the Bionis itself bestows the blade upon a Chosen One. However, if the Chosen One is black of heart, he will cause the destruction of the High Entia. Among High Entia exist the good and bad alike. Homs and Nopon are no different. If this boy is the Chosen One. The Divine Seer's interrogation will reveal where his allegiances lie. So you intend to keep them confined? We must. Father, I mean, Your Majesty. I assure you, Shulk is of pure heart. As my successor, you will play a role of great importance. Calm your spirit and be patient. I... Dear sister, I can see the Emperor's words have confused you. Brother. His Majesty has spoken. He recognizes you as the Crown Princess. You are to be the next ruler of the High Entia. Me? And not you? Yes. The Emperor asked for my counsel, and I told him as I tell you now. You will make a fine Empress. There is no one more suited to leading our people. You proved that when you dispatched the Telethia. I... don't know what to... Melia. But the soldiers? I am not fit to rule. I should visit their families and beg for pardon. Melia, you know that this is not allowed. I know. But it does nothing for the guilt I feel. It is as the Emperor said. Grieve their departing, and engrave in your heart their great deeds. I will. You are right to question these things, but take pride in who you are. The Emperor has chosen wisely in you, Melia. I am to be Crown Princess. Yes, you are. The Ministries of Research and Records are united in support of His Majesty's decision. I, Minister Lorithea, have no objection to your appointment. I understand. I would never openly question our Divine Emperor. But the wielder of the Monado, the Chosen One, might be a useful tool. You think so too? Yes. But a lowly servant of the realm such as myself could never question his majesty. However, if the Divine Seer were to intervene... The Seer could free Shulk. They should be exchanging words as we speak. Idiot bird brains. What do we do? A fancy prison is still a prison. What happened to Melia? I don't see her locked up in here with us. Exactly. She's in on this. Shulk, any thoughts here? Melia won't let us down. She promised to take us to Prison Island. And she's not the kind of person to break a promise. Okay, Shulk. You win. I believe you. And if you believe Melia, then no arguments from me. Alright. We are now in the White Wing Palace. 
our objective is to just essentially talk to everybody. Hi, Ricky. Yes. So, you know how to worry. Bird people, not bad. Okay, Charla? Yes. The ones who came to meet Melia were also wearing those masks. What in the world is going on? Ryan. What's up? What is all of this? What is, what is all this? How can they treat us like this? That Melia chick, are you sure we can trust her, right? Hmm. Well, I guess we'll see, won't we? Dun Ban! Yes? We have never had con we have never had any contact with the Hyentia before. Perhaps they're being cautious, just as we would. Maybe. You are to be interrogated by the Divine Seer. Stand back. Alvis! What are you doing here? I see. So that is why you are here. Is Melia okay? We didn't mean to cause her any trouble. Rest assured, she is fine. The real reason you have been detained is not because you are outsiders. You don't mean... Yes. The Monado. You see, the High Entia and the Monado go back many years. Millennia, in fact. Ah! Oh. Leave everything to me. I shall see to it that you are not held for long. We cannot have the saviors of Her Highness treated as criminals now, can we? Free these people. I shall take responsibility for their actions whilst inside the capital. They are now guests of the Imperial family. Sir! I am required to report to His Majesty. Otherwise, I would escort you around the capital. Use this room at your leisure. You are free to roam the city or stay here and rest. Farewell. Hold on, Alvis. I need to ask you... Be patient. I know what it is you wish to ask. Do not fear. You will learn when the time is right. The life of the rich. So where are we going? Anywhere but here. I'm bored of this stuffy room. Okay then. Ricky, find Melly for Shulk! Ricky, wait! Your Eminence. Oh, what God want? If you're after Alvis, he's gone. What? Where did he go? What happened? We received an SOS from a small squadron repairing a transporter at Aerith Sea. But the transmission was interrupted, and we have lost all contact with the squadron. Sounds like they need our help. Shulk and Ricky go help. Ricky and friends help people in trouble. Of course. We're happy to help. But you're outsiders. Soldier man, not worry. Hereupon Ricky is here to save the day! It is most appreciated. We need all the help we can get. And there we go. They'll get that help within the next episode. Save the worker! So yeah. That will do for this episode, guys. I said I'd have a short one every once in a while. The next episode might be short, too. So, hope you guys have all enjoyed. In the next episode, we're off to RFC to save those workers. Right then. Bye-bye! I'll say this much. It definitely feels weird to be playing this game again. But that won't feel that way for the next recording session, because I'll have practiced. Oh, yeah!